Let's just listen in to how people reacted. Uh, first uh, was Shabana Azmi who spoke to us uh, with her reaction and uh, here's what she had to say. I am deeply, deeply saddened to learn that MF Hussain is no longer with us. I mourn the loss of an iconoclastic painter, a wonderful human being and a very close friend. I knew Hussain Sab personally for many, many years because he was a friend of my father and he was a maverick and he would turn up at completely unexpected moments in our house. He was somebody who retained his childlike quality and I think that's what made him the great painter that he was. To tease him and say that you pretend to be much older than you are, I'm sure you're not biologically as old as you say. But somehow, I don't know why, I just convinced myself that Anil Hussain is immortal, that he'll never go away. And I feel very, very, very sorry to have lost him. He's a loss, not only for his family, not only for India, not only for the world of art, but for the entire world because of the outstanding artist that he was. I said it then and I'll say it a hundred times. I think it is a very sad moment for India when Hussein had to be exiled from here and then take up citizenship of Qatar. It's a very, very sad day and great loss to Indian art. No doubt about that. I mean, uh, it's in fact unbelievable. I'm so shocked and stunned by the news that Hussein Sahib is no more. Um, I think the contribution to modern Indian painting, the whole uh, pictorial modern language which he created, which is uh, uncomparable. And I think we, uh, we are always going to miss him in a big way. The energy and the kind of uh, power which his work showed, and as a person, as a man, you know, what, what dynamic uh, way of you know working, living, and the planning of future all the time. You know, at this age, he had many many programs and plans to what to do in you know his uh, coming years. So this is something very sad. Uh, we'll continue to get your reactions from uh, art lovers and his friends and well-wishers as well. But uh, just uh, cutting across once again to Fatima Karan. Fatima, sorry I had to cut you short in the middle uh, uh, a short while back. But uh, you were rewinding to a specific ins instance about uh, Hussain Saab. Well, the instance that I was rewinding to was, uh, is also specific to the sort of character that, that he was, which was that obviously he faced uh, a fair share of negativity coming out of India. And um, what I was told by, his, by people who were very close to him is that he never spoke negatively about what was happening. There was, there was an element of sadness in, in, when he, in how he reflected over how he had, he had put himself in this self-imposed isolation in a sense. But he was never bitter. Uh, or, or, or vengeful towards, towards the kind of hostility he had faced from fringe elements over here.